Welcome to our final Fusion tutorial for this 1-2-3 block project. And again, we've been covering the basics with this. Now what we're going to do, if you watched tutorial number 9, we added this whole pattern right here. And you could use any geometry or any shape to create a pattern, but doing it with circles or holes is quite simple. We added it to the side face. Now we're going to do a simple extrude command. So up in the top left, we're going to choose extrude. And you can extrude more than one feature at one time. So we're going to take one, two, three, four, and be sure that you're not accidentally selecting this face as opposed to the different circles. And we could simply drag it back through at least two inches, or we could continue with what we were doing and we could type in negative two. That will create a cut inside of this and those will go the whole way through. So I'm gonna choose okay. And now you're gonna notice it's cut those holes the entire way through the block. If I turn it, however, you'll notice that, let me get it facing correctly, you'll notice that it's also cut into, or it has intersecting holes inside of our main bore. All right, so if we turn that a little bit, you'll be able to see them down in there. If my computer will act right. Okay, so you can see that we have cross holes in there. The final thing that we want to do is a simple chamfering operation on the edges of all four bores or all four holes. So you're going to have eight edges total. This is a great opportunity, again, to get used to using your x-ray vision inside of this so that you can see both sides of your bores. So we're going to choose chamfer in our modify tab again. And I would like you to select each of the eight circles that are located here. So there's two, three, four. This gets a little, uh, takes a little getting used to. If you're currently uh, looking at it in isometric view, move along kind of the same lines as the grid. And when you get back to about here, you're going to see your first hole. This is the bottom one, even though it looks like it's way up in, right? It's a perspective thing. And then move straight up Two. let's move our menu real quick. Three is right there. And fourth will look like it's popping out of the top right there. Four. All right. So we have eight circles. Our distance is going to be 0.030. We're going to click OK. And at this time, we've added chamfers to all of those holes. We've broken those edges. And that's how we complete our very first uh, object or our first component inside of Fusion 360. Hopefully, you found these tutorials helpful to get through this first project. Remember, if you run into any trouble, you can go back to your timeline down here and you could click. So maybe I want to check my extrusion. If I double click, I could adjust that extrusion and change it. Um, or you can also do things up in here, but we'll talk about that later.